Well, thank you for letting me come on. I texted you yesterday. You did. Well, I wanted to. I didn't want to just yeah. rush right in. But yeah, no, you, uh, <laughs> because you, as you know, you're the Asian girl everyone cheats off of because you have two Ivy League degrees. Right. Three. So I was 16 Three. years old. No, two. Okay. Yale and? Brown. Brown. Okay. So I was 16 years old and a virgin when I started at Yale. Right. And I went to a party and, uh, you know, in high school, because I was the nerd, I didn't go to parties and I didn't right. drink. So I was at a party right. and... Um, that was this goes without saying when you said I started Yale when I was 16. <laughs> I just, so, in, the, in my head, I you know insert. It's, it's a sensitive story, but I was screaming nerd already. Yeah. Right. Total yeah. nerd. Way to go, Steph. And yeah. completely naive. And so uh, there was a senior, a tall, dark, handsome senior with yeah. a mustache, and I was a naive yeah. young freshman. And he liked me, which was so yeah. exciting. And we started kissing, and he, he had gotten me a drink from a keg, you know, a cup of yeah. something. Yes. You know, and I drank probably half of it. And then he said, let's go to my dorm room. Because when you're a senior, you get your own. You know, when you're a yeah. freshman, you have to live with a bunch of people. Sure, yeah. So I remember going to his room and sitting on his bed, which was a water bed. In retrospect, I oh, should have yeah. left immediately. Yeah, oh, no. That's, but I didn't know any better. Yeah. And then I apparently lost consciousness because the next thing I remember... Uh, I was really groggy opening my eyes and thinking, who am I? Who are you? What is happening? And realizing he's naked. I'm apparently naked. And he's having sex with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was, by the time I realized, am I dreaming? Or by by the time I realized it was happening, he was done. Yeah. And I was just numb and out of it, and I couldn't speak or move for so he quite clearly, a while. So he put something, obviously, yes. in the drink, yeah. I didn't realize that at the time, yeah. but I just put my clothes on and wandered back to my dorm room in the middle of the night, feeling like, that was stupid. I shouldn't have yeah. done that. I blamed myself. I didn't yeah. tell anybody. I was mortified. I didn't tell anybody, probably until 10 years later, what happened was um, I was watching an episode of Oprah, and this is the Oprah same brings it out of everybody. <laughs> I was watching an episode She'll make of it Oprah crack eventually, yeah. That was about date rape. And I remember watching it thinking, I don't understand. That doesn't make sense. You can't be raped on a date because my definition of rape right. in the nineteen eighties when yeah. I was in college was some man you don't know jumps out of the bushes and uh, late right. at night when you're walking by yourself yeah, hits you in the and head beats and you up and right. there's violence yeah. and blood and he rips your clothes and he rapes you. Yeah. And you go to the hospital and you go to the police. So I'm watching this episode and they're defining rape as sex without your consent. Yeah. And I started to shake because right. I realized, oh my God, I, I couldn't have possibly consented because I was unconscious. Right. And they're talking about what usually happens with women who have been raped. The next 10 years of my life from that moment forward right. were filled with promiscuity and one night stands. And I just thought that was who I was. I had no idea that that's pretty typical. When, you know, the, basically he broke my soul that night and robbed me of the ability to choose um, who I wanted to have sex with for the first time and yeah. at least maybe like the person yeah. and trust them. And so to get robbed of your innocence like that yeah. is so horrifying. Suzanne, I, I, I mean, I've been saying this, that uh, I went to Catholic school. My sisters went to all girls Catholic school, Stone Ridge, one of the schools that uh, uh, Kavanaugh mentioned. And right. Uh, I, my mom was a virgin when she got married. My sister was a virgin when she got married. Right. I assumed I would be. So when people go, oh, what's the big deal? He didn't even rape her in this story. It, it's, oh my do you understand how, how traumatized all of it, I would have been at yes. 15 if, yes. if that happened. I mean, right. it's, exactly. It's, and, and also it wasn't until um, the, all the Cosby allegations came forward that I realized in every description of what he had done to these women, that's when I realized Many years later, that happened to me. That yeah. that I had been drugged and raped, not just raped, but drugged and raped. Yeah. Because I thought, I guess I just had a really strong reaction to yeah. half of a beer. But yeah. there's no way you don't black out right. and are unable to move. I mean, in my experiences after that, and so, so what was so important to me when I was watching the the hearings, because of course I got so triggered. And I've done decades of work yeah. on myself through yeah. therapy on forgiving him and forgiving myself and all of that. Right. But the fact that, here's the thing, I don't remember what month it is, of what course. day it was. I don't remember yeah. what I was wearing. I don't remember what I ate that day. I'm it's guessing. completely irrelevant. I remember his name, I remember his face, and I remember every yeah. detail of 
what happened when I was uh, allowed to be conscious. And, and you said to me, even in your text, you're like, I'm not, I'm not ready to, I'm not here to name him. I'm I, not I'm here just, to name but, him. But I mean, it's just in but sharing your this story. Is, this right. was the culture at Yale in the 1980s. Right. In retrospect, I feel lucky that I was only raped once, which is really sad. And Deke, yeah. the fraternity that Brett Kavanaugh was in, was known for yeah. misogyny and, you know, drunken debauchery. And yeah. also, unfortunately, I mean, I had a wonderful, ex <laughs> except for that, yeah. I had a wonderful education at Yale and I made incredible friends. And, right. I, you know, that that was sort of the anomaly. However, do you remember... Um, the viral video at Yale with, where a bunch of frat boys were screaming, no means yes, yes means yeah. anal. Yeah. That yeah. was m my university. Yeah. That, it, it, it's, yeah. it's so soul crushing. And, and also to watch um, Kavanaugh, basically, have you talked already about Darvo? Deny, attack, reverse victim and offender yeah. is basically exactly what yeah. Kavanaugh did in his opening statement. Um, first of all, I want to say I'm so sorry, honey. Thank you. Um, thank you for being brave enough to, you know, to share it. Because, you know, I mean, I haven't seen a woman yet that doesn't start to tear up just like you just did and have to relive this. And it was 40 uh, years me. ago. And that doesn't mean that it didn't matter. It was so, so long ago. Get over it. What was your reaction to seeing the president mocking? I, I um I can't. Dr. Ford and I'm her so, not remembering I'm, I'm things. I'm so and enraged. People laughing and cheering. I, I'm so, and, and by the way, uh, what happened to, she's a very credible yeah. witness. She looks like a good woman, very credible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's despicable. And what about all the allegations against him? Yeah. I know. Th that's, that's what I mean. Of, of course yeah. he, of course he wants to defend Kavanaugh. He doesn't want any of this to come back at him. I know. I, it's hard to like. For me, at least, to process it every morning. Southpaw tweets, a president who was under investigation for conspiring in the subversion of his own election and obstruction of justice apparently rigged the investigation of the Supreme Court no nominee who thinks presidents shouldn't be investigated. I mean, it, it's uh, it's so enraging. Like you said, it's hard to know. Like there, there's There's got to be a word beyond despicable yes. for, for him. And it, it's unconscionable. Have you um, already talked about the... F F F F F. And yes, what that means. Yes, yes, yes. find them. Okay. Yes. yes, we've said it's pornographic. I mean, it's just but he, he's lied so many times. At the very end, it's forget them. Isn't right. that interesting? Right. Which right. he managed to do. He forgot. Right. He forgot all about. Right. That. Um, I'm not bringing this up because you're Asian, but Connie Chung. <laughs> I know, she did. She for came some forward. reason we always. Everybody's coming forward, well, which right. is really empowering right. for people to just, you know, oh, this is just some Including the crazy super smart woman. Asian ladies is what I'm saying That's right. is my point. I didn't mean to make a through line. And but by the way, but, do you know what the, the cultural, um, uh, we are not supposed to talk about things like this yeah. in Asian culture. Yeah. So if we are coming forward, you know. <laughs> but let me just say, I don't know if you've read Connie Chung's story, but I'm telling you, you can't go in comment sections. On, on this no. stuff because it is just Horrifying. gross. It is. So, you know, her story is, she's, and it's like a Nasser, Dr. Nasser story. It was her trusted family doctor. Yes. And she was also a virgin, like mm -hmm. early 20s. And she went to get, you know, birth control or mm -hmm. IUD, whatever. So she, it was a, a family doctor mm -hmm. and she, you know, he's doing the, the stirrups thing. And molested her with his fingers. Right. But if you read the story, he brought her to orgasm. He yes. was manipulating her clitoris and right. you know and she didn't know what was happening she right. said i had my very first orgasm and then you know he like kisses her on the lips and leaves and i mean i'm telling you you'll go in the comments they're like oh she should just say thank you uh, what I, I mean it's oh my god because i'm just you're because like you what you said women for a long time had a thing about oh unless i'm a hit over the head and beat up and right i guess you know, it was i guess it was my fault right i and guess why i, I didn't have... why i didn't report because i thought it was my fault i was mortified i didn't even realize right. i had been raped because i didn't know you could be raped on a date right. or by somebody you love and trust right. i mean I, here she is thinking this is the trusted family doctor that it's yes. that it's a regular right you know digital gynecological exam and right. it didn't even realize what was happening and also yeah and then being afraid of not being believed oh you're a hysterical female you're making well, it up right um okay to that what do i always say sean over it's not over yet it's not over i'm just saying you're gonna get over? an email from you somebody. say over Pardon? nothing is over until we decide it is was it over when the germans bombed pearl Harbor?